Isolated, lost, afraid. Darkness is consuming me. Slowly but surely, I am being destroyed. Now, that is what you want to do in language paper one, question five. Not only is it attention grabbing and engaging, but it is full of high level vocabulary and punctuation. So today I'm gonna to talk you through my approach to question five, which is drop, shift, zoom in, zoom out. So question five is the one where you'll be given a picture and you'll be asked to either describe a picture or write a narrative piece. I think the best option is to actually combine the two because then you have the opportunity to show off your high level descriptive skills. But if you add in a story, a bit of narration, then the description will go on for longer and you'll find it easier to write more. When you're first given the picture, this is where you want to do the drop and you drop your reader straight into the action. So look at the picture and pick out around three key things. So if we think about the one that is uploaded up on our English Boss website, um, the example where it's like the dark stormy night with the lightning bolt, I focused on the sky, the lightning and the horizon in general. And this is where you just want to describe it. You don't want to think about any um, plot. And this is where you want to include your high level vocabulary. It's a great opportunity to include some personification. So can you personify the lightning? Um, talk about the sky as a blanket. And that's something as well that you can do in any drop because there's always going to be a sky. So maybe really think about practicing how you would describe a sky in a positive and a negative way. The shift. This is where I feel that you push up the mark scheme. So rather than maybe being um, in some success, it makes your writing clear because you're including something structural that is really difficult to do. What you do is you shift back in time. So you include a flashback or a flash forward, but the flashback is the easiest to do. What this also allows you to do is to have control over the tenses. So your drop is in the present tense and when you do your shift back, you're going to go into the past tense. This is also where you want to introduce your storyline. So you want to think if you've got your picture and you're describing being there, why are you there? So mine was about there was a dad and you used to visit there but seven months ago he'd been snatched away. So then I shifted back and I described the same setting in a positive light. So the dark clouds weren't dark, they were light and full of positivity. It wasn't a blanket of blackness, there was a hypnotic blur of colour because when Dad was alive, everything was perfect. This also means that you're not having to repeat certain vocabulary. So you might have these brilliant words for a positive picture and when you get to your exam it's something quite dark. Well if you shift back to a positive time when you're in the same place you can use that vocabulary so you're really showing off all the words that you know zoom in and for this you shift back to the present tense so you're back at the dark original picture and you want to pick something that you didn't focus on before so for me I focused on the clouds in my description chocolate covered pool and their diaphanous and I actually used vocabulary from Jekyll and Hyde the last section is you want to zoom out and this is where you want to think about tying up any loose ends of your story. I also think the zoom out is a really good place to introduce sort of like a more abstract idea or a strong emotion and maybe do this through pathetic fallacy like I did in my example. So I linked the weather to my emotions, sort of they were all confused and all over the place but then I wanted to twist it slightly and my abstract idea, my sort of emotional concept was that even though I'd lost my dad and this specific special place had changed for me, I wanted it to bring happiness to someone else's life. So that is the drop, shift, zoom in, zoom out approach. It's really easy, it allows you to extend your writing so you're not struggling to just write one page. You are doing something structurally interesting, you've got a flashback and then you come back to the present tense. And it just really allows you to show off every skill that your teacher has been teaching you. They're my top tips for language paper one, question five. Thank you. Um, it wasn't, um, so the dark clouds weren't dark. This is also when you want to include, and this is all, 
because then you have the opportunity to find something like that. Dog! <laughs>